What's up, MMA world? This is the Bama Beef, Marcus the Bruiser Brimage, and I'm here to give you my first vlog for the Ultimate Fighter Season 14, Mayhem vs. Bisping. So, a little bit about myself. I was uh, raised in Birmingham, Alabama. Played football since I was five years old. So, you know, Crimson Tide, Roll Tide, best college team out there today. So, uh, after high school, I was basically like too short to continue my career in football. So, um, I joined the military and I've been part of the 117th Air Refueling Wing in Birmingham, Alabama, Security Forces. And um, how I got into MMA was because uh, I used to watch Dragon Ball Z all the time. Dragon Ball Z is the greatest action anime cartoon ever. Don't ever forget that. And my brother, he uh, actually showed me highlight tapes of uh, Quentin Rampage Jackson. So, you know, those two things right there just got my blood boiling and I knew I just had to do MMA. Uh, I got in to actually training MMA through my sergeant uh, at the 117th Ever Feeling Wing. I wanted to move to Atlanta to learn Muay Thai and uh, he introduced me to my coach, Christopher Conley, and uh, together, me, uh, Christopher Conley, and Joy Manberger uh, formed this MMA group called Spartan Fitness and they instilled all the groundwork and they're the reason why I am the MMA fighter that I am today. So after a while, after I turned pro, after I turned pro, um, I had to leave to further my MMA training, and uh, the only natural choice was American Top Team. I mean, I mean, look who they got: Tiago Alves, um, Mike Brown, Tiago Silva, Dean Thomas. I mean, a whole name of who's who comes to ATT and training. So that's how I end up there. So like my third month in uh, training at American Top Team, I got a call from my manager, Roy Singer, from Parkour uh, Gym out of Athens, Georgia, and uh, went there and turned in my packet because this is actually the third time I was supposed to be on the Ultimate Fighter. And um, that, like they say, the third time is the charm, so I happened to get picked up for this season. and. Here I am now. So now I need to tell you about the fights for the elimination uh, to get into the house. Uh, that was very nerve wracking. Mandalay Bay, Dana fucking White. I mean, it was just, it was crazy. And, uh, you know, this is almost like a dream come true. And, you know, I'm fighting at the Mandalay Bay. That's where, that's where it goes down. So uh, when it's my turn to fight, I had to fight against this guy named Bryson um, from Hawaii. Very, very, very tough, skilled fighter. My, uh, my hat goes out to Bryson. Uh, the first round we were we was uh, exchanging pretty much. Uh, he went for a takedown. I stopped it, and then he reversed it, and and was able to take me down after he reversed the position. And he kept me on my. He kept me. Uh, he had my back for like at least at least a good minute and a half after. Um, during the first round. We got up, I switched position, threw an elbow, he got to his feet, exchange, bell ring. Uh, second round, starts off, I uh, catch a kick, I catch his kick, clock him in the face, and I just start tagging him, and Steve Montagani finally breaks it up. So now I'm in the house, and now this is where the drama begins, known as the Ultimate Fire Season 14. You're going to see a lot of crazy, just a lot of crazy shit. I mean, the drama, the fight, the prank. I mean, the prank, these are the best pranks ever. Like, seriously, if I was on the end of some of these pranks, I'd be fucking pissed. But I hope y'all enjoyed this uh, this season of Ultimate Fighter. Uh, Dana White has already said this is the best season. So now it's up to you, the viewers, to decide that. All right, man. See y'all later. Marcus Brimage, Roll Tide, baby.